What's up guys? We are back for another great adventure. Um, I'm back with uh, Steve with Pax a lot again and his son Owen is joining us this time. We are on a very, well, geez, very rough road at some point to a lake that I'm gonna keep undisclosed because it's, according to Steve, just amazing and he wants to keep it a secret. Totally fine with that. Um, but we have been driving for the last like three hours into the Uinta Mountains and uh, we're gonna go have a good time. We don't shake to pieces here. So let's get this venture start off right. this trail and uh, we are turning off and heading up 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 we go on the way to the top so it's supposedly all uphill from here so be a fun sorry I had to see my mouth long hike up So we made it to camp and look at this view. Holy cow. That's amazing. You can see all the way down the drainage down there where we came. And if you go down here, you can almost see all the way up the t to the top of the drainage. That's awesome. Great spot. So I just got camp oh, set up. Down here at the lake, I'm super thirsty. I'm just like out of it for this hike for some reason. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna camel up on as much water as I can. Um, and then probably get some lunch, take a little rest, and then we'll get to fishing. No activity on the lake right now, which is kind of normal, but uh, this lake is very, very pretty, so. I'm gonna get filling up this water and uh, probably take, dunk my head down into the, uh, down into the lake. Looks super refreshing. All right, so I'm fishing. Got some re, what's it called? Uh, recovery from FNX um, supplements. Super good right now. Um, I am dragging hardcore. So if you guys want some of this, and there's a link down in my description, I, you can get a 15% off um, if you go buy this stuff from FNX. Really helps for this stuff. I'm not like a health supplement connoisseur guy, whatever. But uh, this thing works. So I'm going to get my setup all going, get some more water in me. Uh, I got just the spinning rod today. I brought both just because I didn't know what was going to happen, so I'm going to get that set up and then uh, get to fishing. There's three fish sitting out here that I'm going to try and get. For a new hook they're following this one as you can see them it's super clear here and really pretty anyways they're following this one but uh, they aren't taking it they'll get super close and then they'll back off so I'm wondering if it's just a little too big so I'm gonna do another lure it's a bit smaller Just 
caught one with a real dragonfly. Not the biggest one I've seen out here, but it's pretty big. Not bad. Not bad at all. I did bring my fly rod, but there's not a lot of room to cast and it's kind of windy. I might get it out later, but I'm just trying this for now, see how I do. Bought some new flies, and this guy was one of them. So I'm gonna put it on my spinner rod and see if they like that just a bit more, because they don't seem to be, there's one out there. He took my last dragonfly, and I thought it was in his mouth, but somehow he got rid of it. So, I don't know. He's doing big, he's pretty big. The face right there in the center screen is just like floating. Okay, so that fish that I just showed you, it just went belly up. Like he was swimming out there. He looked like he was just surfacing for a second. But now he's belly up in the water. I'm gonna try and snag him and bring him in. Like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But yeah, let me flip you around and I'll show you. He's right there. He moved just a second ago, but he just went, he was just like skimming along the water. Skim, see? So we just finished up uh, dinner, kind of some camp chores. I finished getting my tent set up because we kind of just put our tents up and then went to the lake. So, yeah, it is now 7.30 and uh, the reflection on this lake is getting real nice. So I'm going to go get set up. Hopefully I get a sweet shot of this lake because it is so pristine. So. So Steve just caught a huge, huge 20 inch fish. And uh, they're all feeding right now on the surface. Hold on it. So I'm getting the fly rod out. Going back to our spot, see if I can catch some of the just honkers that have been hanging out down there. I don't know, there's not a lot of room to cast. Sun's going down, but I'm gonna give it my best because it's that was a huge, huge fish. Okay, so oh. I'm sitting here not having much luck. So I think they're done feeding. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them jumping up in the water. Lately, if you guys can hear that, I'm just finishing up fishing here, but this leads me into something that I feel should be talked about. Now, I don't like doing rants. Um, it makes people think like, oh, you're hurt. People get all butt hurt when people do rants, but this is something that really annoys me when coming into the back country. You know, I come here to relax, to enjoy, to get away from people, to have a good time. And I understand that other people are gonna be out here. Like, it's just the nature of the beast. Like, people are gonna be out here, they're gonna, they're gonna be trying to have fun. And, you know, they're trying to do the same thing as me, which is totally fine. I'm totally cool with that, which, you know, is kind of one of the reasons why I've made this YouTube channel is because I wanna help people see how to do it and see the good times that I have and go out. No. What drives me insane is right across from where I'm fishing right now, there's a group of, I don't even know, there has to be like 12, 15 tents, and you know, that many people plus possibly more, who knows. Um, and all day they have just been loud and rowdy, 
I mean, cussing up a storm, just yelling stuff, being loud, beating like logs together. It's kind of weird. Um, and they were just playing loud music and kind of, not even singing, kind of yelling to it. As, you know, there's other camps here, including us. You know, don't do that, people. Like, that's extremely disrespectful, especially for where you are. If you want to listen to music, okay, keep it quiet and don't yell at it as you're, as it's playing. It's just, it's not cool. You have to be responsible when you're out here and being responsible in the backcountry means respecting others and the time that they're trying to have. You know, I'm okay with people coming out and, you know, groups and having a good time. That's totally fine. Like, I'm okay with that. You know, but these giant groups that, you know, are from the looks of it they've been like beating down trees and like pushing over trees and like one they're almost camping like on the lake there's one tent it has to be like five feet away from the lake and there's just tons of people everywhere over there and they're just rowdy and disrespectful to others around them that's not okay so i know i don't like to do rants i don't like to be that guy but you know i'm sure there are plenty of others in the YouTube community that don't like it when people are loud, disrespectful as they're trying to camp out. And I can tell you that they're just a bunch of, you know, young kids, kind of like me, which is kind of sad because now that puts a bad rap on, you know, kind of our generation because we're just loud and yada, 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 which obviously we are because they're over there just not giving a crap about what anybody else is doing. I mean, I'm having a great time fishing and then they start just yelling. I'm like, why are you yelling? There's no point to yell, like, don't sing. Whoever's singing that song, they sing it, not you. That's just me. But, anyways, whoops. Anyways, yeah, I don't like to rant, but I feel like it needs to be said. Be respectful when you're out on the trail. Um, we had another incident today where there was kind of a bunch of, kind of the same age group, kind of millennial, you know, free-spirited people following us on the trail and they were not being respectful at all which hey it's a busy trail what can you expect but this isn't the city so don't come in here and treat it like it is because if I wanted to live in the city I would just go to like Salt Lake or LA and pitch my tent in the middle of the street if I wanted that so just be respectful guys that's all I gotta say hope you don't mind the rant I think I'm done here fishing Probably gonna head back to camp, nothing's biting. Probably gonna have a fire. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll wake up early. My kinda like sleeping in, so who knows.
to the next lake, another off trail lake. And uh, we don't know if there's fish in it, but we want to see the views, which is kind of why we're doing it. Steve says he's tried twice and no fish, so we are. <laughs> but the views are going to be awesome. Ooh, pretty lake anyways. Steve is pretty perturbed about that. Green tarp right there. <laughs> As should any rightful person. That don't make me very happy. Get off the freaking lake, dude. Same with old freaking Free Willy out here on the <laughs> raft. Yeah, right there. Oh, golly. So right now I'm just walking around the lake, doing a little bit of fly fishing because they are feeding off the surface. And uh, they are pretty close to shore. But man, I have never seen such finicky fish in my life. Like, you can put a real dragonfly in front of their face and they still won't take it. It's, I don't know, kind of frustrating, but hey, it's part of the game, I guess. So yeah, I'm just, like I said, walking around, um, just trying to, oh, just take in the scenery, see if I can catch a fish or two. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been good though. A lot of fun, cool area, very pretty lake. It's an amazing lake. So that's been really the best part of it is the cool scenery and the place and the people. So I will just keep going and try to find some fish. Okay guys, so you just saw some of the clips that I got from that big camp that I talked about yesterday. And uh, you saw all the trash that was there, which is absolutely unacceptable. There's like baby wipes all over the ground, trash in the fire pit, like metal, like you can't burn that stuff, it's not gonna burn. and. Um, I talked to the guys that were camped right next to them, not even like a hundred yards over because according to them, uh, when that group hiked in, they came down to this part, which is, you know, empty, open, nobody's here, which would be a good spot for a camp. Um, but instead of going down here, sorry, they decided to camp right next to them. And supposedly they would like, flash their flashlights in like the flash mode and they were yelling all last night which I mean we heard it from our camp but people do not come out into the backcountry if you're gonna be that way that's absolutely unacceptable to trash a place like this that is like pretty remote not a lot of people know about it you're ruining it for others and you do not deserve to enjoy what this has to offer if you're going to disrespect it so that's another rant enough of my rant i'm gonna see if i can see some more fishes but don't see a lot of them surfacing now She is the 
It is almost 10.30 and getting, well, I'm in bed now. Anyways, super, super good day. Um, a lot of fun things happened. Good, good times. Um, we're going to probably wake up early tomorrow, kind of get out of here. And, uh, yeah, it's just been super good. So... Yeah, we will catch up in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. I'll see you in the morning. Just got done doing a little bit of that off trail stuff. Gnarly, love it. And uh, we're now headed back down the trail. That cut about a mile off the trail, give or take. And I have to look at the map. It wasn't bad, some good bushwhacking. And a really cool area. All right, I'm about to sit here and merge with I-15. Gotta get up to speed signal getting over we're good to go <laughs> three days so yeah, yeah. Not bad. it was a good trip a lot of fun yeah so. well i'll have to come back and catch some more fish oh yeah i'm definitely <laughs> coming back with the size of those tiger trout oh yeah oh baby so Gotta keep it a secret though yep <laughs> right on. sweet all righty guys that is a wrap on that trip it was a great trip um not as many fish as i would like they were really finicky like i said but it was still super super good Steve and Owen, they're amazing. I love being out on the trail with Steve. He's a great guy, knows a lot of good things about fishing, camping, all that. He's really good to be around. So I'm gonna link Steve's channel down below. Make sure and go check him out, he's awesome. Um, this trip will not be the only trip to this lake because I seen how many fish are up there and I figured out what I needed to actually slay the fish. So I'm gonna be coming back maybe in the fall I don't know. We'll see. But super good. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm glad you guys are here on the channel. It means so much to me to have all the support and all the views and whatnot. It just really makes it worth it. So, <laughs> so we're going to head out. Make sure and subscribe if you aren't. And we'll catch you in the next video. It's way for